All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to edit your vocal audio and music clips for your YouTube videos in Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you tuning in to this video. If you do find the video useful, then please do give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that I can let you know when new content is released. So this video, I'm going to be concentrating on mixing your vocal and music audio for your YouTube videos. And I'm going to be doing it all in Premiere Pro. So I'm just going to show you a few techniques you can use to clean up your audio, specifically audio from lav mics like the one I'm using here. Uh, this will be useful for wedding videos as well. Lav mics in particular and shotgun mics are often lacking some presence because they're positioned further away from the subject. If you've got a desk microphone, then it might be right next to you. But if you've got a lav microphone, then it will have that little distance between you and the vocal. And the shotgun mics as well will have a bit of distance between the mic and the vocal. And you might lack a bit of presence. This video will show you how to compensate for that presence, bring a bit of presence back into the audio recording, and I'll also show you how to mix it with the music that goes behind your audio for your videos. Okay, so here we've got a clip of a tutorial I put together not long ago. Okay, and on the top line, we've got the vocal audio. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. Bigger. All right, bigger, okay. Top line, we have the vocal audio with the video which was recorded on my Rode mic Go Lapel, which you can see a video on here. And underneath that, we've got the music audio that I use under my tutorials. I always use music underneath my tutorials, but I don't want it in your face. I just want it ambience in the background, really low key. Now, I made this mistake in the first couple of videos I did. It was a bit too loud, but you learn by your mistakes. That's, that's why we're all here, I'm sure. With lav mics and shotgun mics, they're a bit further away from the vocal, so they lack a bit of presence. So you wanna be bringing some of the presence out and bringing that vocal closer. So the way you're gonna do this is with a bit of compression. I have done a video in, on compression here, if you wanna have a look at that, it goes more in depth. But basically a compressor brings the peaks closer together. So the really loud bits and the really quiet bits, it brings it all closer together. So it's a lot more even and a lot more present. So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your audio clip and we're gonna to go to effects and we're gonna type in compress. Okay, and then it brings up all these compressors. Now the one we want is this multiband compressor, not the obsolete one, but the, the newest version, okay? So we'll drag that onto our clip and we're gonna click on edit and it's gonna bring up the compressor. Now let's just make it bigger so we can see everything. And all you're going to want to do on this is click on the default and change it to broadcast, okay? And this brings up a preset that works really well with most vocal audio. You're going to want to change a few things first of all. You're going to want to change the attack. Now the attack is how quickly it works on the audio. So with vocal audio, you want the compressor to work straight away. So we're going to change that to one millisecond. The release is how quickly it eases in. Now again, with vocal audio, you want it to ease in pretty quickly. So it's already, 500 milliseconds is already quite quick, but we're gonna change it to 250 milliseconds. Okay, and that's all we're gonna do with that. I'm just gonna play the vocal audio first without the compressor on, and then with the compressor, and you can hear the difference it makes. So this is without. I like to do it, this is the way it always works for me. And this is with the compressor. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a okay, cut there. See. Then I'm Without. going to right click on the clip and with. I'm going to go to speed okay. duration and you can see it just raises the volume of that vocal, brings it a bit more present, just in general cleans up the vocal. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Now I should have mentioned earlier on, whenever you're dealing with audio, I'd recommend getting a decent set of studio monitors. Now I've got some Rocket 6s, I'll link to those in the description. And most of the times I use headphones. A lot of the editing I do is at night, so I don't want to wake anyone up. So I use my headphones most of the time. Now I usually use these Audio Technicas, but I have been using these Boyer ones, which you can see a review on here. But they're pretty good. I mean, I've been using them a couple of weeks now just to test them out. Uh, really comfortable, do the job. So 
You don't have to spend loads of money, but get yourself a decent pair of headphones. Don't just use earbuds or anything like that. Get yourself a decent pair of studio headphones um, so you can hear what you're doing, okay? Anyway, back to our audio. So what we want to be doing now as well is monitoring the audio levels. So if we just play the vocal audio back, if you look at the right hand side, you want to be peaking around between minus six and minus three dB, okay? So it's sort of peaking around minus 12 at the moment. That's sort of the optimum level, and when people play it back on their phones or their computers, you want all your videos to have a similar level of audio, so they haven't got to keep turning the audio up and down, depending on which video they're watching. So try and keep them all fairly similar, and I would aim between the minus three and minus six dB mark. So at the moment, we're sort of minus 12. So we need to raise the audio a bit on this vocal. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. Now, what we can do is go to our multi-brand compressor, and see where it says gain, we can just raise the gain here. So let's just, so we need to raise it by about, let's say about nine dB, okay? So we'll type in nine on there, and then we'll play the audio back. As you can see, now it's peaking around minus three, which is what we want, okay? So you can do it there. So you can also go to the clip itself and just move this line up or down and you can raise the volume that way. So that raises up to 8.3 dB. Let's just play it back. And as you can see, now we have it peaking between minus six and minus three as before. So you can do it that way. Let's get rid of that. And the other way to do it, and this is the way that I use most of the time, is I just right click on the clip, go to audio gain, and then just type 9 dB. So now we have a clip that is sort of peaking around minus three, which is good. Okay, so that's the vocal done so far. Uh, got the music here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on audio, and then we're gonna assign the vocal audio to dialogue, and we're gonna click on the music, and we're gonna assign that to music, okay? Now we're gonna click on the vocal audio again, and we're just gonna click on EQ, and then we're just gonna choose one of these presets. Now. This podcast voice preset's pretty good. So I have done a video on EQ here if you want something a bit more in depth on how to EQ vocals. But for the purpose of this, the most sort of vocal audio, these presets are pretty good. And I know that this podcast voice one is works pretty well. So let's just play it back. So this is without the EQ. With the drone. This was and the this Phantom was 4 the Pro EQ. again. Um, we're just going to do a bit of speed ramping. So we'll start okay. off. It's quite subtle, but it just cleans up the vocal a little bit. Like I said, you can go way more in depth with EQ and vocals, um, but I'm not going to do that in this video. This is just a really quick way of getting the vocal to work with the music really nicely. Okay, so let's unsolo that. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to click on music, and we're going to go to where it says preset, we're going to go to smooth vocal ducking, okay? Now this won't do anything unless you click on generate keyframes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on generate keyframes and now we're going to have a listen back and see what that's done to our audio. So let's hear what it sounds like without any ducking. Hello. So that's without anything. When we get anything. to about there, we're just going to put a cut. Now you can do speed ramping in a number of different ways. Let's just turn the ducking on. Different ways. But generate keyframes. But this is how I like to do it. This is the way it always works for me. So, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut there. Then I'm going to right click on the clip. I'm going to go to speed duration. Now, for me, the music's a bit too quiet now. So let's just make a few changes. Take it back to the start of clip. Click on minus 18, and then we're going to hit generate keyframes. Okay. New Haven Lighthouse. So. Yeah, we're we'll just circling. So the music's still a bit quiet for me, so I'm going to go to minus 12. Hit generate keyframes. Or pro again. Um, we're just going to do a bit of speed ramping. Yeah, that works for me. So now it's set the music just underneath the vocal, and every time the vocal kicks in, the music will just be that little bit quieter. As you can see here, when it gets to places where there's no vocal, again, so... So see the music raises up in volume again. Just ducks it when I'm actually speaking, which is what you want. 
And that's it, that's how you clean up your vocal audio, do some basic compression EQ, and then mix your vocal with your music in Premiere Pro to get a nice balance for your video. So, hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what other sort of videos you'd like to see. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment. Audio and visual gear reviews, editing tutorials, drone tutorials, all that sort of thing. So please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. But that's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next one.